I'm going to play with something new tonight. And um, the camera's been going in and out of focus, so hopefully it will stick with us. This is something I've been playing with for the last couple of weeks, and um, it's just a visualization method that I kind of fell into a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so you can think of it as a meditation, whatever you'd like. But if you want to take a break for a moment and write down maybe three things that you would like to experience differently, then do. And um, I'm going to take you through a scenario of shifting things, three different um, aspects. So the first will be a relationship that's maybe not going the way you want. The next would be a situation. Sometimes those can be similar, but could be different. And then third is um, an environment like if you want to um, imagine yourself on the beach or, you know, something that feels like you can't attain it, but you want to experience that enjoyable space. Maybe you've wanted to go to another country or whatever. So that'll be the third one. So if you want to take a moment to write those down, those three areas that you would like to play with shifting into something new, this is a good time to do that. And if you're ready to launch in, we'll begin. So just take, we'll just do one nice deep breath in and hold it and relax and breathe, breathe out. All right, so breathing in, one, two, three, holding and releasing, one, two, three, great. And um, the first thing we're going to do is imagine yourself in that scenario, the different ones, and you're going to kind of zoom up almost to like an eagle eye perspective and look down and see yourself almost like a little doll inside of that relationship, environment. Um, and then you're going to reach down almost like you have talons and lift that little doll that's you, that little person up and move them into a new situation. So we're going to play with that here. Okay, so the first one I believe I said was relationship. So if there's a relationship that is frustrating you or uh, that you just want to feel better about, it's just not, you're not feeling good about it and it can even be a primary relationship because sometimes we go through those periods where we're frustrated where we are in our relationship. So just take a moment to think of the situation or the person, the relationship that is not going the way you would like or you're not feeling the way you want to in it and if you you can either think of a specific incident that happened a moment could have been just earlier today and that relationship could be at work could be at home whatever and just for a moment see yourself down there and zoom up above it and see yourself in that situation with that person that relationship and if you want to exaggerate it a little bit, whatever feelings that are not ideal, negative, whatever you experience there that you want to shift, kind of exaggerate them a little bit and maybe exaggerate the behavior of the person in that relationship with you down there. And just notice what that little person is feeling in that relationship. And now you're going to go down and pick you up, pull you right up and out of that relationship. And we're going to set you down in a blank space. It could be a blank stage, white, black, whatever, but a blank space, new palette, fresh palette. And set yourself down inside of there. And now just kind of um, imagine feelings that you want to feel in this relationship without the person there, okay, the other person. And just sort of uh, notice this person feeling really comfortable, feeling like they have a voice, feeling like they're seen and heard, loved, appreciated, respected maybe a little adored, given just enough space to be creative and feel free. 
but also a sense of companionship, safety, security, acceptance. And just see yourself surrounded in all of that, immersed in those feelings. And imagine now that that other person comes back in the room. And think of how you want to see that person. Seeing that person being appreciative, being kind, listening, respecting. And just for a moment, I'll let you put your own uh, feelings, thoughts, words, whatever, into that scenario as you look down at it and you see that other person in the room. And if you want to imagine them embracing whatever you want to even imagine visually, go ahead and do that. And stay above it. Don't go down inside of it. Just stay above it and observe it from a distance. Wonderful. And now if you want to, you can kind of imagine maybe wrapping that little scene up in a nice little package with a nice little bow and lifting it up and setting it somewhere nice off to the side for a bit and knowing that that little energy or that little world has been created and it exists and it's in that beautiful package always available. And now we're going to move to a situation. So for a moment, think of a situation that has maybe recently been frustrating or disappointing or and it could be ongoing or new. And the situation could involve people. It may not involve people. It may be a project or, excuse me, maybe a project or, um, you know, just something you're working on or working toward or, anything, any situation that's not going the way you would like. And just zoom up above it and see it happening, exaggerated a little bit. If something's frustrated, just see that little you really frustrated over the top. The people around or the things around, the environment, whatever, that triggers. And reach down and pick up that little you. Pull right out of that situation and see that blank space again and set yourself down in that blank space. Good. And for a moment just feel that open space without all of those feelings there. Just see yourself in this blank space that's a clean canvas. And now what situation would you like to see yourself in. If it's a project, how would you like to imagine the project going for that little person? Yeah? If it's a, a situation at work or at home, how would you like to see that situation unfolding, manifesting, happening? And just imagine yourself for a moment as that little you having a great experience with this situation going very differently. If you want to bring in anything into the environment or people, you could see this person as a leader and people coming to this person for advice. Or if it's a project you're working on, you could see this project just going beautifully and everyone coming into that space thinking, saying, oh, this is so fantastic. Oh, this has gone so well. Just feel you for a moment successful or see you down there, feel you down there successful in that situation. And it's, the situation's going really, really well. You're, you're seen, you're heard, you're valued, and um, whatever creative aspect of the situation you want to manifest, it's just unfolding beautifully.
things are coming together, they're organized. Whatever you need to see that little person experiencing or feel. Whichever is easier for you or both, just kind of uh, notice what's happening when everything's coming together just right for this person. And just allow that little you to enjoy that wonderful feeling for a moment, that successful situation going just even better than you would have ever dreamed. Okay? And now, wrap that up. Just imagine a little beautiful piece of fabric or light paper or something coming up around that situation and a little bow on top. And when you feel ready, you just lift it up and set it off to the side as well when it's already always there. And we're going to focus on a third area tonight and that is an environment that you would love to experience and maybe that's a vacation spot. You know, it might be at a beach or something. It might be another country. It might be a new environment at work or a home that you want to create. Okay? But for a moment, just see yourself in a pretty mundane day-to-day -day environment. Just kind of look down and see yourself in the environment that's not so exciting, that's maybe a little boring or chaotic or um, disappointing in some way. Just see yourself in that environment, okay? Zoom up above it and really uh, throw in a few more details that take uh, the mundane to the extreme or the chaotic. And just reach down and pick yourself up out of that, that little you, and plop yourself gently down into a new clean slate, canvas, page, stage, however you want to imagine it. And then as you look at this blank space, you notice that it starts to take on a wonderful new form. It becomes this environment that you would love to experience, this place you'd love to go or be or create. And just start to notice that happening for that little you down there. What does the ground plane look like in that new environment? Are there walls or trees or sunshine, just to really see what that person might be seeing down there. Do you want to give them any sounds? You're kind of uh, the master of this picture, so are there any smells you would like them to smell, scents? Are there any uh, sounds? feelings, tastes. Just to kind of imagine those coming back in in a fresh way and that you really can see that person interacting in a very real way with that environment. What does the air feel like for that person? Give them the right air the right amount of light. All right. And what do you want to see that person wearing in this environment? How do you want to see them? How do you want them to feel? How do you want them to uh, respond or interact with the, the environment? Do they interact with it?
And how do you see that little you feeling inside of that environment? All right. Now for this one, just for fun, we'll wrap it up in a moment, but if you want to let yourself go down, kind of inhabit that little you inside of that environment, and you want to climb inside of yourself and feel that in a different way, you can do that. Just feel that feeling for a moment. And now we'll gently pull ourselves back up out of it and see it from that ego perspective, bird's eye view. And do a final wrapping of this third little experience environment that you want to give to yourself, a little gift. And wrap it in a bow, set it aside. And now you have these different little experiences and anytime you want to open them and look at them or climb in and be in them, you can. They're there. And just notice if you start to experience some of these things a little differently. Uh, if anything starts to manifest differently in your life because you now have taken a new perspective on it. And uh, feel free to revisit this as much as you want to. You can play with this on your own. might even be easier. And if it helps you to have someone walk through it, then I'm here. And I'm happy to take you through this as many times as you would like, as many times as you find helpful. And you might find some totally new situations that are not the way you want them, that you want to experience in a new way, differently. So feel free to uh, play with it as much as you want to. And I hope your life unfolds beautifully. And I'll see you.